Yo, 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 yo. So, I've been doing a bunch of disfiguring the goddess lately, and I kind of want to start making videos in this fashion again, uh, just to document, you know. But uh, also, shout out to the Discord server, uh, link below, and shout out to Sue2, which is out now exclusively on Bandcamp for a couple weeks before it goes out. There's a bunch of videos I want to make, um, again, in this fashion. But the one video I'm doing now is about Blood Animal. And I've uh, down, or I scoured through some hard drives today and found this session. And I'm like, I need to remix and remaster this. Because now I've got some speakers, as you can see. These speakers are, like, totally game-changing. I did um, Blood Animal, Soothe, um, and Brutal Machine on headphones. I did Soothe 2 on headphones initially, but mixed it down with these. And I'm working on a new album um, called Infinity that I'm uh, working on these two. And they sound great. So I've been having some great results and I wanted to see what I could do with this album. Because this album is like, it's like the weirdest sounding album in the catalog, hands down. Um, and, you know, it's a weird album. It's, the guitar is kind of messy. Um, the songwriting is very runny. There's not like a lot of like technicality in terms of like the punctuation of the songwriting. Uh, as you, as many of you may know, I wrote this with the original singer of Disfiguring the Goddess and he's doing vocals and all this. We'll dive into that in a bit too. Um, so the workflow for that would, he'd come down to Minden from Reno. This is when I was living in Minden and Nevada. And I would write the whole song and then he would write the lyrics as I was writing the song. And then we would, I'd do the vocals and he, I'd plug him in and have him like overdub a lot of my vocal parts. Um, thus having two vocalists, you know what I mean? But, um, so it was, that was kind of the workflow. That's why the, the guitar is a lot more sloppier than, uh, other Disfiguring the Goddess records like Deprive or, uh, Black or Child. Everything's a lot more punctuated and dialed in and methodical in the way it was written malfunction so yeah that was kind of the workflow of how this one is more messy but there's a vibe to it 100 percent. and there was an energy in the room the other thing that was kind of weird about this record too is um after we did it um there was multiple tracks that i went back and put a lot of samples in this session right now i'm actually downloading a bunch of samples from splice that i used on this record that aren't there right now so there's some missing samples um, but like the, the main thing we're going to go over is the mix of the metal and the vocals and just kind of like this little dialogue we're having right now. Um, cause I, I would like to remaster, remix this and then just sound replace like the stuff on Spotify. You know what I mean? That way it's like if people go back and later in time, it sounds refreshed. I don't want to re-release Blood Animal. It's like this probably the dumbest record to, to go and re-release, but you know, if I have like the tools and, and like the time right now too, I, 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 and the drive really, I should just do it. Um, so yeah, a little bit of the background on this, on this record. Um, it also went through a bunch of mixed revisions. Um, there was a point where I had it sounding like a shoegaze record where the guitars were very lightly distorted and, and the drums were really roomy. I actually really liked that mix, but ultimately kind of decided against it because I think that would have been even weirder, you know what I mean? But I don't know. I think I think going forward, as you, you will see, especially as I document things on this this YouTube channel. Yeah, so I hope the um, sound translates. I might get like a little mic or something for these types of videos. But I want to do a lot more of these documentation videos. One of the things I really liked about uh, YouTube back in the day um, aside from the community aspect was basically just being more open about sharing what I'm doing, like in the moment, you know, and that's so common today with streaming and Instagram and stuff. But I just kind of like this, like old school way of documenting, you know, and community building, join the discord. The discord's awesome. And like Sue too, I only talked about on discord and put it on Bandcamp so people who are on Bandcamp can see it. No social media promotion of it at all kind of over like pushing things on Spotify and Instagram and stuff. Anyways, let's get into it. 
Um, I'm going to play... What song is this? Okay, this is the song that we're going to listen to. It's called We Still Starve. Um, this is from... Uh, Spotify Volumes. Still kind of like... I never listen to this record, so it's interesting to like hear. But this is where it's at right now. Ooh, way better. Wait. Actually sounds like a disputing record now. session either. I ain't gotta find it. Like it, it sounds good, but this is like clearly... I'm going to break down a little bit of the workflow too, not so much from producing it or I mean writing it, but more so producing it. So uh, I have a subgroup that is called metal and it's just the drums. Uh, there's two, so there's two groups in it. There's the drums and then what I call mids, which in this case is just bass and guitar. So let's listen to just that. <laughs> also an interesting record because it features a real bass guitar. <laughs> so it's funny too because like one of the aspects I think of what I was really missing on a lot of the Disfiguring the Goddess productions of the last few albums was the loudness and how the, the clipping, clipping in digital audio is like an aggressive form of you know, clipping the dynamics and everything, which I wasn't doing on a lot of the more recent disfiguring records, which I did all the time early on, right? So I think that was an a, a element of disfiguring that I never really considered like a, a vital part of the sonics of the thing. Um, but the interesting part about this record is the guitars are really quiet. And I've, I've brought them up before, like, That sounds like more modern, the loud guitar. But with the lower guitar, it just sounds like more mellow almost, which is kind of the vibe of the record too. So even though I'm remixing, I might keep some of the, the similar aesthetics that was going on in the original. But like, I'm a big fan of um, the soft clipper in Ableton. I don't know what I used to clip in Logic back in the day, but it was clipped. <laughs> Everything was clipped. Um, so, you know, I'm clipping the bass. Let's see. Actually, I'm not really clipping it. Very mid scoop. It's another thing too, it's like, I can't really make out the definition yet. This is a little work in progress, but still documentation. You can see all these mid scoops I'm doing. A lot of mid scooping, like four of them. And then shaving up a little bit of the highs because it's so crispy. 
I'm driving six or seven dB of gain into the saturator with the soft clipper on. And it's not touching it yet. Clip the signal, but I keep the, the level the same. I kind of like that. Snare is clipped. I'm also doing this thing in Ableton a lot lately where I do a rack and then I have the reverb and it's side chained to the, the sound of the snare, which is this. So. I don't know, I might change that reverb. Maybe they've been using the lexicon reverbs. Small plate, I don't know about that. It's a snare plate. What's it, Mexican? Or... It's a little bigger. 80 snare? That's cool. Cooler. <laughs> with the vocals too like here's something that i notice with the uh, with garrett specifically like listen to garrett's like these high screams so look at that i'm doing a 12 db cut at uh two, two uh two k that's ridiculous but without it, you can. This almost sounds like the original now. It's like so much. Let's hear it with the mix. With that big cut, it sounds better in the mix. And to me, that's like a real product of having. Uh, I mean, these are really high-end speakers. They sound really great. I don't think they translate well to the. I don't know what this sounds like yet. To be honest, the iPhone camera. Um, but like you, you end up just doing things based on how it sounds, even if it looks bad, like a 12, a 12 DB cut at 2k on vocals sounds ridiculous, <laughs> but like, it just sounds better on the speakers. So I'm just going with it. You know, same with the clipping that like I can just tell when it cl it's clipping, right? You know? <laughs> Clipping the master, uh, not the master, but the metal bus too. You can see it right there. If I take it off, it sounds good because it's getting clipped by the master, but it just sounds like a tighter mix almost. With clip, without clip. More aggressive, but less tame. Go to another song. So I think I'm going to go through with this um, and I'll probably post about it 
obviously on Facebook and stuff when it does go live, but I'm not going to like reissue Blood Animal or like have it reappear in Spotify. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, Sue 2, let's pull it up real quick. Shout out to the Discord server. Um, Sue 2 sounds great. Um, this is now live on Bandcamp, also for free. All my music on Bandcamp is for free. Love it, you know? Music is free now. Everyone streams everything. I mean, people, you can pay what you want. People like to pay money on Bandcamp, but like, I don't know. Put it in your catalog. <laughs> Sounds great. So I want to take Blood Animal to like that quality. These later songs that we wrote were a little more easier to like, they sound better because they're just simpler. This is actually the predecessor to Soothe One is like these last few tracks on the record. That's pretty crazy. There's a bunch of samples that aren't loaded right now, as you can see. I mean, I don't know if you can see or not. But I don't know. Again, I don't know how good a tutorial this is, but it's just like more of a documentation. And also an invitation to the Discord server. <laughs> Let's listen to some of these earlier songs. They're like a total, they sound so crazy. Like there's too much going on. It's like... I don't know. Like, I think it'll be better than how Blood Animal is anyways. I'm not saying Blood Animal is the greatest record, how it kind of like started the video off. It's just like more vibe and flow based in terms of the songwriting. And also like everything's kind of done in one session. And that's something too about that, that project was, it, I think it went through too many iterations, um, which probably did a little damage on it. But you know, it's all about learning. It's all about getting better and um, if I can go back and make this sound great within a week, um, I'm gonna do it because I think it'll tie the whole catalog a lot, a lot better too. Um, you know, you go Sleeper, Blacker Child, Deprive, Caterpillar. Weird sounding record, but it sounds good. Soothe, Brutal, and then Blood Animal. I have this track in here, obviously, but the samples aren't. Like, this just sounds so weird. It's funny, though, because people do like that record. I mean, a lot of people hate it. I think I'm more on the hate side than the like side, but people do like it. I get a lot of comments on it still, but... That just sounds better. which sounds really unique. And then we're gonna have Soothe, too. Sounds great. 
and then infinity coming up after that. Um, some following videos that I'm going to do. I'm going to go into Su2, kind of show how Su2 is uh, more cohesive and simpler than Blood Animal. <laughs> um, probably go through the mix a little bit. Um, and then I want to do a Gorehammer video where I go through like how I recorded the vocals for Gorehammer. And this is all for documentation. I think I've said that too many times. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this classic style camera every day, just figuring the goddess video and uh, more to come.